Welcome to AstroProductReviews.com. Make sure to click subscribe and give us a like on the video. Hey guys, John Crisp here with AstroProductReviews.com. I've got my Orion 8-inch F3.9 Newtonian telescope here. I'm going to do a quick product review for you guys. I have it set up with a see-through finder scope, uh, multi-dot reticle capability there. I've got the 60 millimeter guide scope from Orion paired up with the Starshoot Auto Guider, which is a really nice package. And then I've got my Attic 490 EX camera, and I've got a high point scientific coma corrector, which matches up very well with this F3.9 scope. And I've got a William Optics adapter to go from a two inch down to the one and a quarter inch nose piece that's on the attic. I've used this in a variety of combinations. I have a Edge HD uh, 11 inch scope that I use with Hyperstar. And that setup is very nice. I use the T adapter for that on the camera. I find that just for ease and convenience, the one and a quarter inch nose piece on the attic 490 is a good combo. I haven't had a lot of dithering problems with this. Um, and I'll talk a little bit about some of the things that I've had to do to get this scope tuned up as I've used it. And I'll also share a few sample pictures. So something I do to help with the issue with the thumb screws is I hold it nice and tight down inside. I also rack the focuser all the way into the bottom and then I tighten the screws. That prevents any slop in here and I know I can still get focus. Something else I do to get close focus before I use my mask to get nice tight final focus since I do this manually with this particular scope is I measure from the nose of the camera to the base of the focuser and get a general sense I know on this particular setup that's three and a half inches that way I know I'm going to be close to focus before I ever get started I'll put a ruler on there and check it real quick make sure everything is good to go this is nice and smooth it does find focus very easy and with the Maritoff mask it really makes it nice and easy to find that focus and get your final focus and then you can lock the focuser with the thumb screw underneath. So that's a quick overview of the scope. One thing I do want to point out is it does make the scope heavy. It wants to tip over off the Lowe's Mindy dovetail plate here and I've got the wide plate uh, as the Lowe's Mandy style would imply. So that's something you just have to be mindful of so I'm not going to leave it in there for right now for demonstration purposes. Just wanted to show you what it took to get that in there. All right, well that's a quick overview of the Orion F3.9 Newtonian Telescope. I'll show you some images that I've been able to take. Of course, it's winter in Northwest Ohio and we haven't had a lot of ideal conditions up here this year. I had my pup tent out the other night for a warm room. I had my scope all set up. I've got my new mount. Everything was tracking. My go-to was spot on. It was tracking great. And literally about an hour into my imaging session, clouds rolled in and that was the end of that. So typical trials and tribulations of living in a cloudy sky site. Typically, it's not been a very good winter. So I'll keep you guys posted as I'm able to get this scope out and use it more. One thing I really like about it in comparison to my 11 inch Edge HD is that this scope is lightweight. It's probably 20 pounds all up with the equipment that I've got on it right now, where my Edge HD weighs almost 50 pounds without the guide scope when I put all my gear on it. And that really makes it heavy and to lift it up on the mount in the middle of winter with cold hands is really not as ideal as I'd like it to be. If I can convince my wife I'll get a dome, which we'll see, <laughs> and hopefully next year I have a dome and I can get as much clear sky opportunities as I, as I get here in the winter, which isn't much. So thanks for watching. Click subscribe if you haven't already and give us a like and we'll see you soon on astroproductreviews.com. Thank you.